channel that I used to come back to my YouTube channel. I still remain your favorite Christian ever. So if you are seeing my face for the first time, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, give me a big thumbs so up, your comment down below. So um, like I said in my previous video, um that I'm going to be making a bitter leaf soup and also stew. But later I was not able to make the stew. So today I'm going to make the stew and the right one. So guys, don't waste much of your time. Let's dive into the video. Okay, the curry is still fresh. Thank God. Remember that. Remember that we also bought pepper. The pepper is the pepper is still fresh also, and then we bought onions and vina. So that's the only condiments I use to prepare my stew. Except if it's occasional something that you eat once in a while, you know, you have to make it to be scenty, you have to make everything to be smelling nice, everywhere to be smelling nice. So, guys, okay, I have avoided the meat yesterday. It's time to cook, 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 cook. Guys, don't mind me, like, I'm a jolly failure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to wash the tomatoes and bean the tomatoes. I'm going to wash the tomatoes, then get it my normal way. For the onions, I'm going to grate also onions and also the one that I'm going to use to fry the stew. Normally, sometimes I don't fry my stew. So, guys, I have my fresh pepper with me here. My fresh pepper. I also have my tomatoes, so I'm going to be slicing it or dividing this into two. They are all washed, so. into four parts so far it's easy for you to do it so I'm going in, I have poured the first part inside the cookie pot so I'm going to continue to break So I have put everything in the meat and the meat stock that I I steamed earlier. So I'm going to because there is water inside this mat. So I'm going to allow the water to dry by boiling it a little bit. So from this, I'm not going to fry the stew anymore. I'm just going to you know cook it the best I know how to do it. So guys, stay tuned. I'll be updating you guys on how I cook my stew. So guys, I'm going to add my chopped onions. Okay, sorry, before I add my chopped onions, I have, have to add uh, my oil, my ground oil. So I'm using ground, sachet one. The remaining one, I think I showed you guys remaining one. I bought sachet. That sachet is, is bigger than the can. So I'm pouring I don't want the oil to be much so I have added um, small pepper and onion and the salt before. so I'm going to add my chopped onions so I'm going to stir of using this type of gas to cook is that you 
if you are not careful your food will pour so now i'm going to add my maggi and then test to salt if there's any need for me to add salt again then i'll add salt but i have not added maggi to it then i'll add my nivina i'm adding one sorted of nivina that i bought yesterday and i'm adding uh, four cubes normally i use four cubes on all my cooking then i'm going to add my salt so i think that it's high time for me to find container to to find container to put all these things so i'm going to peel off the back of the maggi then drop it i don't like you know squeezing my maggi and put it inside i like just drop it inside the stew so my maggi is ready i'm going to pick it up and then drop it in my stew to allow the maggi to melt inside so the next thing is for me to add my mivina i'm going to add all because that's the only spicy that i'm using for this i'm going to add all then i'm going to turn So the next thing for me is to add salt then add my curry. So now I'm going to add my salt because I'm not going to add water again to this and I don't want the salt to be much. So So next thing for me is to add my curry. So since I have added my curry, everything is done. So I'm going to wait for my meat to cook and the curry to be a little bit softer. Then the soup is ready. The stew, I don't know why I keep on mixing stew with soup. And then this, <laughs> and then this stew is ready. Oh my god. So guys, that's basically the way I cook my stew is either I fry or I just do it this normal way. So, so guys, that's I'm going to cover and allow to steam for like 20 minutes, then I'll bring it down. So guys, I think that my stew is cooked and done. So I'm going to put it down.